Hello everyone and welcome to the Good Game Lobby review of Wilmot Works It Out. This is the second title released by the indie studio Hollow Ponds this year, following Flock, a game I reviewed and loved, released earlier this past summer. The core team at Hollow Ponds on game development, along with Eli Rainsbury on the soundtrack, are back together. Their beautiful connection shined in Flock and has done the same here in Wilmot Works It Out. Let me go into a bit of the story and introduce you to Wilmot. Originally released in 2019, Wilmot's Warehouse was a puzzle game about organizing your warehouse to run it as efficiently as possible. Once your coworkers needed certain items, it was up to you to locate them and deliver them on time. While Wilmot's Warehouse leaned towards a more stressful, time-based design, Wilmot Works It Out takes a completely opposite approach. Wilmot is a cube who still enjoys keeping things organized, even in his home life, but he prefers a more casual approach here. You're part of a puzzle club. The delivery woman, Sam, is your main point of contact, and you become close friends chatting about neighbors, animals, and vacation plans and weather as you receive each new puzzle. Your main area is Wilmot's large house, which feels a bit oversized for a small little cube person. You assemble puzzles in the spacious living area, which is perfect for sorting pieces across multiple puzzles. Upon opening a package, you'll find random puzzle pieces. Using the left thumbstick, you move pieces around by pushing them, or you can highlight a piece with the right thumbstick, pressing A to pick it up and B to put it down. I recommend grouping similar pieces, as I'm sure most people do with puzzles. Often you won't receive a complete set of pieces right away, so you'll need to wait for the next delivery. The game cleverly includes extra pieces that resemble those in your main puzzle, allowing you to guess where each one might belong. Each chapter of the game represents a season. I spent around 30 to 50 minutes per season, with 8 seasons in total. Every time I saw a completion time of 38 or 54 minutes, I was surprised. It felt like it was only 10 minutes had passed. At the end of each season, you get to choose between two new rooms in Wilmot's home to display these framed puzzles. You can also select wallpaper, color palettes, and accessories like video game consoles, plants, and more. Initially, I didn't think these touches were necessary. I was eager to return to puzzles, but with the music, art style, and overall ease of play, I was fully enjoying it by the end. you even get to choose a pet companion, either a cat or dog. The gameplay isn't difficult to the point where you'll be frustrated. It takes itself seriously with the design and mechanics which make for an easy and satisfying experience. Let's talk about the beautiful visual design. Wilmot is simple, a square with bead eyes and triangle nose and a charming smile. While the main room has a mild color palette, the puzzle pieces stand out with vivid colors. This vibrant art style is a staple for Richard Hogg and Ricky Haggett's games, like I Am Dead, Ho Hokum, and Flock, which I mentioned earlier. The colorful worlds, environments, people, creatures, and landscapes you assemble piece by piece feel alive in their own way. Out of the 60 puzzles you complete, each one has such wonderful designs that I'd love to have some in real life to hang on my own wall. Considering Wilmot's Warehouse was adapted into a board game, my hope is that Hollow Ponds will collaborate again with CMYK to produce physical puzzles. Another great part of the game design is that the soundtrack album artwork is made entirely from puzzle pieces recreating Wilmot's face. The design from the gameplay to artwork and music is truly charming. Once again, a delightful game is beautifully complemented by composer and sound artist Eli Rainsbury. What can I say about the soundtrack that isn't just a confession of my adoration for it? Eli Rainsbury has done it again. The Flock soundtrack blended jazz with pop and chill vibes seamlessly, and we get a similar, more relaxing vibe here. Wilmot Works It Out is a puzzle game, so naturally you're looking for relaxing music to accompany the time spent pondering each puzzle. The song, Your First Rodeo, sets the stage, beginning with a repeating piano theme, a common element throughout the soundtrack. Joined by a jazzy, upright bass that builds layer by layer, almost in parallel with solving your first puzzle. Then Eli's signature xylophone sound comes in. The song ends by peeling back the layers until only the final piano note remains. That's just one of the many tracks that instantly captured me. I highly recommend checking out Eli's work on Bandcamp, where the platform often waives fees so the artist receives the full payment. I began the game on a Saturday night and played until 3 a.m. I went to bed, woke up at 7 a.m., and finished the rest. If you couldn't already tell from this review how much I really enjoyed this game. While I was playing through the second half, my wife brought me a cup of coffee, mentioned how beautiful the game looked, and ended up using my headphones for an hour while doing chores to enjoy the amazing soundtrack. Eli Rainsbury crafts relaxing vibes with tones, clicks, and rhythmic patterns that playfully bounce off the colorful worlds Hollow Ponds creates. I still listen to the Flock soundtrack and I will no doubt have Wilmot Works It Out on repeat. Here's a snippet of the song, Your First Rodeo.
With Wilmot's Warehouse, Wilmot Works It Out, and the recently released board game, I'm all in for this adorable, cute, and expanding universe. Wilmot Works It Out brings vibrant, colorful puzzles to life with a clean and intuitive design. Its jazzy, relaxing soundtrack creates a pleasant, seamless experience from start to finish. It's a must-play and has officially become one of my favorite games of 2024. What did you think of the game? Have you played other Holopons games I mentioned? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching my review of Wilmot Works It Out. Please like, comment, and subscribe, or follow. Your continued support helps grow this amazing indie gaming community, and with each new follower, I gain access to even more indie games to review just for you. Let me know what indie games release this year you want me to review. For more indie reviews, check out the ones popping up on your screen right now. Thank you for your support, and as always, GG.